It began on a fall Sunday, 80 years ago. Well, I think it was 1939 was the first time that the Star Tribune put out a peach section uh, for their Sunday college football fans. An oddity became a reliable friend. The Sunday peach was revered in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. It was at least 10 whole pages of everything gopher football. That was the thing. The gophers were king. You know, there were no twins and Vikings and off-season news wasn't even a deal. So in the fall, it was gophers football. Everything revolved around gophers football. Did they win? Did they lose? Who's next? Rose Bowl. He's right. The twins and Vikings came in 1961. The Lakers weren't in the NBA until 1949. Hockey didn't come to its birthright state on the NHL level until 1967. The gopher era of that time was indeed golden. And so while the glow seems to be inching in this week, the Strib sports team had no choice. That was our goal, was to kind of reach into that excitement and produce something that matched uh, what we thought our audience was, was feeling. There's a lot of people in town, you might be one of them, who aren't necessarily used to go for football fever and... You never know, heard of it. Right. I literally have never heard of it. This idea of a sold out crowd and people paying hundreds of dollars for go for football tickets. Um, that's new for a lot of a lot of people. And so this morning's sports page took a page from the peachy past. And going back to the headlines of that past, like we got to do today over at the Strib headquarters, was quite a gas. We spent all week talking in the old time news voice that you have to use when you talk about old newspaper sections. You know, looking for words like gritter and the nits. Um, Chris, what does it mean to nip the nits? Well, uh, if you're writing headlines in the 1950s, you're looking for really short verbs. We, have, we could roll up on people. Oh. Um, you can just go on them, <laughs> which is strange. Uh, you can squeak them. You can play them. You can hurt them. Uh, what do we got? We can toss the, you can toss another team. You can jolt a team. I mean, there was a headline from 1952 that I cannot even read out loud for crying out loud. But that was 67 years ago. A long time and you can see that in the original peaches who are now a bit more yellow perhaps a golden hue of a golden team of the past so on this new night with a new peach done printed i had to wonder so if the gophers beat penn state when they go to iowa next weekend is it going to be peach uh i think star tribune readers will have to pick up the paper to find out Ooh, in tv we call that a tease is that a tease how do i do that's well done, Chris. Yeah, good. good. <laughs>